Hello everybody, Andy here again. Well yesterday I read a particular blog post. Before I go any further I must say that I know that there are some ironies in this particular video. But the post, which I'll find a link to and put below here, was all aimed at business, I admit. Um, but it was talking about the rise of visual social media as opposed to written blogs because what they were saying the blogs were really the first way that people communicated social media wise across you know all the platforms or whatever it was and especially businesses that's you know they put their website out and they had a blog everybody had a blog didn't they with them personally especially for business it was felt that you had to have that people are moving on now Back in the day, we didn't have the Twitters, we didn't have the Facebooks, we didn't even really have YouTube, I suppose, and the blogs were the way to do it. But things have changed now. There's more visual sides of things, there's more audio side to things. You think of all the sites that have come, audio, boo, or whatever, podcasting generally, that's certainly grown and in importance, and it's a new way of doing things. And as the blog pointed out itself, um, with all the pho photography sites that are around, the Pinterest where you can put a pin something onto a board flicker obviously which I know has been around for a while um, but uh, Instagrams and all these people can take photographs and it all comes about I think through the, the mobile uh, media the mobile phones that we got now the smartphones as I mentioned in the um, my recent video about my YouTube career if you want to put it that the way that things have changed over those six years mainly to do with the way that we move around now we're all on the move and we can use social media the internet on the move that's influencing the way that we do things Things, but not just business I've noticed it myself with the way that I use things I tend not to write anywhere near as many blog posts as I, as I used to in fact I've hardly written any this particular year I don't think ironically and as I said there were some ironies I've just started a brand new blog called Vinyl Junkie but that's more of a specialist thing and it's got a visual element to it because it's about music and memories and that type of thing Sli something slightly different if I want to talk about a specific topic I tend to turn on the camera now and I found myself making more videos recently or, or getting into audio boo once again and doing that type of thing because I find it a lot easier it's more more instant but people can access it a lot easier I know for a fact that some people who watch my videos because they're vlogs it's different if it's more of an entertainment video where you have that more visual factor where you have to sit down and watch it I suppose and give it your full attention if it's a vlog like this I know people put them on and, and do something else they eat their dinner they go and make something or they do do another task while it's on because let's face it there isn't a huge amount happening here apart from my face I do that with some videos as well if I know it's a blogger or even anybody else for that matter and you realize that all they're going to be doing is talking you think oh right I can do this because I can hear it in the in the background and that's the way that things are changing now um, the, the visual side is, is, is growing the written word side is disappearing yes there are, will always be good blog posts I read plenty of them myself but you have to sit down and give that as I said your full attention you can't really sort of jump around because you won't get everything out of it when it's audio or even if it's visual and you can just listen to the audio it's a lot easier and you can do it on the move and that as well so I've noticed that, as I said, with my videos, video views going down, I know that's general, but I found myself using it in the same way, not writing as much, partly because it takes me longer to do that, maybe it does other people as well, um, with, with, uh, maybe I find it easier to talk than, other, than to write, and maybe other people are a bit different, blogs are not going to go away, they are very, very valuable, but I think the value of them, especially for businesses, but even for for people like you and me as well will find that there are now other avenues to use. We can use podcasts, we can use video or something like that as well. Or even photography, put a photo up to show, to explain what we're, we're doing as well. Or oh, people tweet now, as I said earlier on, they have become, or they're thought of, 140 characters maybe. But that's making us be a bit more succinct. People look at those as being mini blog posts. I've never really thought about it, but they are in a way, because you have to craft them sometimes. You know, to fit the characters in, to get in what you want to. Maybe that's changing the way that people blog as well. Instead of writing loads and loads of words and just sort of pouring it all out, they're editing, editing it far more, partly 
because of the intention span of you know the way that people are because we're all moving about and we're all doing different things or at least we think we are <laughs> um, our attention span isn't quite what it was so we're all changing I'd be interested to know if anybody else has noticed this I say I have myself not from a business point of view that doesn't really interest me although you might have noticed that if you are into that type of thing um, but certainly from a personal social media more social side uh, of use that I use it for and uh, so I, I'd notice the way that I view it I use it but the way that I produce content as well has changed anyway I'll leave it there thanks for your time I'll speak to you again soon goodbye